This is the Flying Machine Arena, also known as the FMA. Located at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology Zurich, the FMA is a research space for the study of aerial robotics, autonomous systems and control. In this video we focus on the unique features of this testbed and some of its capabilities. The FMA airspace is a 10 by 10 by 10 meter cube. A glass wall and net enclosures, along with padded flooring, provide an enclosed, safe environment. Off-board computing is housed in an attached control room along with the hard-working PhDs. The nets in the glass wall can be retracted and the floor covering can be removed, allowing us to reconfigure the entire space for different purposes. Motion capture cameras mounted overhead provide pose data for appropriately marked objects. Because of the size of our space, the recalibration is done automatically by a flying robot that uses a degraded calibration to build a new one. Most research in the FMA relies on a fleet of small flying vehicles known as quadrocopters, built from readily available components. The onboard electronics are designed in-house, allowing us to do things like fast closed-loop flips. For safety, we use soft, flexible propellers. The characteristics of each propeller change from crashes and everyday use. To compensate, the quadrocopters learn and adapt their thrust maps during flight. Here is a quick introduction to our software framework. We use a wizard to create a project. This includes components developed earlier, such as the low-level controller. We tell a controller to follow positions on a spiral. We can then test our code in simulation, or, as shown here, on the real system. We use a utility called the Copilot for takeoffs and landings. This is our code. It gets too close to the net. The Copilot steps in, saving the vehicle. The Copilot also lands to recharge when the batteries run low. Research in the FMA has resulted in a number of demonstrations including the learning of aggressive maneuvers and synchronized choreography set to music. We can also balance an inverted pendulum and we occasionally attempt to play a bizarre form of badminton. The quadrators can take what they've learned beyond the FMA. <laughs> The testbed has also found use in a number of other projects. 